Un Academy. Let's crack it. Hello. My name is Shafi. I did my BBS from Zhengzhou University, China. Well, the curriculum there was uh, never a clinical centric one. We had most of the stuff theoretical ones. And for clinical skills, we used to practice in a clinical skills lab. It's like an OSCE setup. Uh, we used to practice on just dummies and uh, it was almost, uh, and remaining parts, we used to read uh, all the clinical skills and everything theoretically, but we never got a chance for uh, like a hospital exposure where we could actually see and uh, interact with the, the patients and stuff. We never had some stuff over there. And secondly, um, language would become an obvious barrier. Even uh, if we had stayed five, six years there, talking with local people, uh, local patients would always be, a, language would always be a barrier there. So we never got much of a clinical uh, exposure. And I, I gave my FMG exam for the first time in 2020 August, August 2020 session and it was a very terrible exam and uh, I did clear my exam in the first attempt and I was very disappointed but then I picked up myself and then I started preparing again for the December 2020 session and then I cleared it. Uh, thank God uh, I cleared the exam in the second time and I scored 158 with a very close margin I cleared it and it was my second attempt. Well, I started preparing for the exam in March 2020 for the 2020 August session but it was it was the very first time I started preparing for this but at that time I had uh, no idea where to start from, where to begin, how to begin and how do I approach this, I had no idea of it. I was very lost, I was confused and when I asked my friends and seniors about it and each one of them gave me their different opinions and uh, different options. I was so confused with all these different uh, options, I did not know what to choose from. and. Uh, by the end, I had so many different options that I had bought uh, myself that I had. I was one day if I started with uh, one book and one approach, the other day uh, I, I would feel that oh, something else is much better. Maybe I should start with that. I was so confused. I was uh, running here and there and there. I was just trying to complete the 19 subjects uh, as soon as possible so that I could do as many revisions as I could and practice as many questions as I could and I bought a few uh, question bank books and I downloaded uh, many handwritten notes that were available for free on, on the internet. I thought every source is very good, every other thing is very good. Maybe these many people are using this, maybe this is good, I used to download uh, some uh, videos, uh, uh, video lectures online, Telegram, where you would get a lot of stuff for free. I would just download that and watch it. Each video used to be for hours together. And these recorded sessions I tell you, I used to watch it and I used to feel very sleepy, tired. I felt like as if I understood and got something. But to be honest, it was just for the limited period of time. And I never. Uh, used to retain that as much as well but I just continued doing that and uh, so that way August approached and I was uh, I was filled with anxiety and self-doubt am I really prepared for this can I do this all these thoughts they were there and just Three days before the exam, I found an academy on YouTube, like YouTube randomly just recommended one video and I watched it. And when I uh, watched it, I found that particular video very uh, informative and interesting where they were discussing few uh, multiple choice questions 
uh, it was a 30 minute video and then i went on to the page and i found many such videos and uh, regarding one particular topic in internal medicine and pathology ops gynae and uh, psm all such short 30 minute videos were there and i watched them all three days i just utilized it as much as i could and i really uh, it really helped me in those last three days where i uh, got a lot of information from that and then i felt that i wish i had found this earlier not just three days before the exam and i gave my exam and the exam was terrible and I I couldn't uh, I was disappointed when I got my result and I wish uh, I could have uh, I felt like I wish I prepared it a bit better this time that I had many I blamed myself that maybe I didn't uh, have uh, much clarity on how to study maybe I should have uh, uh, got myself a, with better uh, understanding of uh, how to study and how to approach and all this stuff i had i thought maybe i should plan better this time i was thinking well after i got my august 2020 result it was bad and uh, after that i knew because last as i told you uh, earlier in the last 3 days i found the an academy's uh, youtube uh, page and i really liked it and I, I, I found it helpful so this time for the next session in the December 2020 the first thing the time was very limited this time I only had around two months of time left and I had to make a wise choice and I felt like maybe uh, going for the an academy was the best uh, thing I could do at the time because uh, that's where after watching those YouTube videos I kind of felt like maybe this is the right approach this is the thing i should do maybe i could get a better guidance there so i the first thing i did after getting my results i just took a, uh, a weeks time of a break where i just picked up myself and then i started preparing for the exam again and this time what i did was i just directly went onto the app store downloaded the downloaded the an academy app and then i first uh, logged in for the free session and uh, free sessions i got, uh, tried it for two days and i found it very helpful i liked the live sessions a lot unlike the recorded sessions where you kind of get bored after some certain point of time live sessions where you could actually interact with the teacher you could ask question in the comment box you could participate in the polls where you could actually answer the question and then you know, uh, discuss it uh, and it was very very uh, helpful and i it was not tiring first part because in recorded sessions it would be like you listen passively and then after a certain point of time they you reach a saturation where it uh, the attention span decreases and then we kind of feel bored and slowly sleepy and it's not interesting anymore but uh, the live sessions where we and it even though it is like we can only see the teachers video and audio and not the students but we kind of build a rap with the teacher even in the comment box when we type and all and then as we gradually attend a number of classes and when we type the teacher kind of recognizes you like yeah hi shafi and they start talking to you. it's like it doesn't matter if the video is on or not it's like by typing we can ask questions it was like it was a live interactive session and i really like that part and uh, the classes started as early as 7 am in the morning and it could go up to 12 am uh, midnight and but i never felt the fatigue i never felt that it was boring i never felt that uh, i did not understand it uh, this what is going on i never had this feelings and i could if i had any doubt i could write it uh, i could ask it away right there then and there and get it cleared and and it was the best investment i did taking the subscription it was the best thing i did and i kid you not uh, if it was not for an academy maybe i would have done it in the december session as well even though i like when i took the an academy part 
first I did a trail for two days with the free session and I knew it was like straight away it was no the second uh, thoughts about it whether should I take a sub- subscription or no, no, no other doubts like that and it was uh, like the way uh, they because even the teachers have seen that uh, August 2020 paper how it was how the questions were and everything and uh, they were planned accordingly like they planned according to the pattern of August 2020 session how it came they planned it, the questions the kind of questions and the kind of discussions and everything they planned it according to that and everything they made it like the clinical case uh, scenarios and the uh, scenario questions and uh, the image based questions all the subjects like PSM and PSM I, it was like it it holds a major chunk of uh, the FMG exam uh, like uh, surgery internal medicine PSM also holds a major chunk of uh, the marks and an academy is the best I, I can tell you that an academy is the best where you can uh, get maximum like even let it be the image based questions or anything not only PSM any subject to that matter it was the best well all the teachers were uh, quite amazing and everyone were really helpful <laughs> and all the subjects were covered really well especially uh, OBG Dr. Ramesri medicine uh, Dr. Rajesh Kupa and for uh, PSM uh, Dr. Neha uh, uh, pathology Dr. Sushant Soni and anatomy Dr. Azam everyone everyone to be honest they were so amazing and really helped and uh, without the guidance and uh, uh, all the uh, strategies and uh, approaches uh, they teach how to approach certain kind of questions and the kind of uh, uh, the the kind of uh, tips they give while uh, during the classes it's not like during the class it's all about only the subject and whatever they're teaching it's about all various uh, things they also share some of the clinical scenarios which they uh, see in their practice and all such stuff and uh, it's it it is really uh, very informative and helpful uh, for us and uh, even radiology Dr. Zainab uh, she was also uh, amazing with all the pictures she used to make slides of uh, all 500 600 uh, uh, radiological uh, images and everything and she used to discuss uh, before the exam she also used to discuss the important uh, uh, findings and the radiological images and whatever are uh, really uh, like important before the exam like the, those things that you should know kind of a questions and all such stuff she used to discuss and everyone to uh, were uh, really amazing and uh, again and again i tell you uh, without the help of the academy i would have never cleared it on my, uh, by myself uh, never and uh, i would like to thank each and every uh, teacher who uh, did such an amazing uh, work there thanks a lot well uh, for someone who is uh, preparing or uh, aspiring for the next session all I could say is it's not too late it's never too late even two three months is enough for you to cover the major chunk of the subjects and everything and to approach it with uh, approach it confidently all it uh, needs is a little bit of a consistency and uh, a hard work in the last days and you can definitely do it it's not 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 really very hard you can do this it's, it's all about just uh, getting to know the right way to approach it right way to study and the right way to uh, practice the questions it's all about uh, strategy and uh, approach all you can do is you can get amazing tips on an academy you can definitely without any doubt i'm not uh, like uh, advertising or anything it's, it's it's coming right from my heart 
you can trust an, an academy you can trust the teachers here you can just follow them follow their advice follow the guidance and uh, you can just go with it and i tell you i relied only and only on an academy and i was able to do it and it is never too late if not an academy whatever tip whatever you you are doing it uh, preparing right now just have the consistency and uh, try to find the right approach and you will be able to do it it's all uh, it's all about the little bit of the hard work little bit of push that you need to put in just at the end of the exam and you can clear it and i wish everyone uh, all the best and hope you uh, do it really well hope the exam is easy this time and uh, oh, i know uh, the current situation uh, uh, with the pandemic going on and everything is really chaotic and crazy outside and you can do it don't worry about anything else just focus on the preparation in the last now it's just a few months away just like a two months of time left and you can do it it's now never too late it's never too late it's still it is a plenty amount of time and you can do it you did not uh, strain yourself too much just have a good uh, healthy sleeping habit of you can 7 hours of sleep get a 7 hours of sleep and remaining time you can utilize it for your preparation properly